Hey, good afternoon, church. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Aaron. I am the Family Ministries Worship Pastor here at Highland Park United Methodist Church. And it is a wonderful, beautiful Tuesday, and I am so excited to get to lead you into worship again today. And uh, we are in the midst of Holy Week, and Holy Week is such an intense week. Uh, it marks the last week uh, of Jesus's life and his ministry. Uh, he is welcomed into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, which was just a couple of days ago, as this all-conquering hero that was set to topple the Roman government to do all of these great things. And then by Thursday, he is put on trial as, as a criminal. Uh, he's, he's given over to the mob mentality. He is uh, thrown in prison, mocked, beaten, stripped bare, humiliated. Uh, and it's a really stark turn of events uh, for somebody who just a few days ago was welcomed in to, to all of these praises, to all of this fanfare. Uh, it's, it's very bizarre. Um, but I think that, well, I know that Jesus knew what was going to happen. Uh, he knew his purpose. He knew why he was put on earth. But the interesting thing about it, something that always sticks out to me, is that I feel like when he goes to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane, and this is in Matthew 26, 36 through 46, uh, when he goes to pray in the garden, uh, the Bible really shows us that he experiences a little bit of fear and some anxiety. Um, here, I'll read the, the passage for you real quick. Uh, this is in Matthew 26, 36 through 46. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. He began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to his disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again, he came to find them sleeping and their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for a third time, saying the same words. And then he came to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. So, as the story goes, Jesus was then betrayed by Judas Iscariot, uh, who marked him with a kiss, and the mob descended around him, and Peter, trying to defend Christ, cut the ear off of, of a servant of the high priest. And uh, It's interesting because Jesus scolds Peter, and then heals, heals this man who's been wounded in front of everybody, yet it doesn't matter. He, <laughs> he still gets put on trial um, and then condemned to die. And it's so powerful for me as a Christian to know that even Jesus was worried. That he said, if this can pass from me, please. But if, if not, then thy will be done. And there have been so many people close to me in my life that are much braver than I am, that facing insurmountable odds have said that. And it's comforting to me to know, to know that even though he was afraid, three times Jesus prayed, take this cup from me, the end of each one of those said, thy will be done, which is such a powerful thing when you surrender your fears to the almighty God of the universe. Not my will, but your will be done. And so without that, without that resolve, without that surrender, where is the story of salvation? Because Jesus completed what he was sent here to do, for us, 
to bring us salvation, to bring us closer to God, to rip and tear the veil. We are so much better for that. Not my will, but your will be done. So I'm going to pray, and, and we're going to get into some worship. Um, and I hope that you let God into your hearts. If you don't know the songs, that's okay. Uh, if you do know the songs, sing along. But either way, I want you to find a place uh, mentally, spiritually, physically, if you have to. Find a place to pray and to meditate. Um, and really let the Holy Spirit seep through everything. And just let the Holy Spirit in, uh, into your worship, into your prayers, into your home, into your heart. And really just lift all the, all of the, the fears that we have with what's going on in the world today. And focus on the fact that by the end of this week, our Savior died and rose again. And, and from that act, eternal salvation and grace and mercy is given to us. So I'm going to pray for us and we're going to get into it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. For the heaviness that is uh, the Holy Week. God, we just ask that, that the weight of that rests upon us and that we are able to digest it, that we are able to really feel every last bit of it and know and know that the battle was fought and won. Not only to save us, but to bring you glory. That the veil in the temple was ripped and destroyed so that we could have closer contact with you. God, we love you. And for this wonderful gift of salvation and grace and mercy. God, we give you all. You paid it all to bring us closer to you. And Lord, we love you and we thank you. And it's in your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. Come thou fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy grace the streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise teach me some melodious song sung by flaming tongues above praise the mountain fixed upon the mount of thy I raise my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I've come, and I hope by thy good pleasure, safely to arrive at home. Jesus sought me when a stranger, wandering from
was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Oh, the sun sets free. Oh, it's free indeed. I'm a child.
perfect submission All is out of
crossed my mind to Calvary where Jesus bled and died for me I see his wounds his hands his feet my Savior on that cursed tree his body bound and drenched in tears they laid him down in Joseph's tomb the entrance sealed by heavy stone Messiah still and all alone. Oh, praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh, praise His name forevermore, for endless days. At break of dawn, the Son of Heaven rose again. Oh, trample death, where is your sting? The angels roar for Christ our King. Oh, The blazing sun shall pierce the night And I will rise among the saints My gaze transfixed on Jesus' face Oh, praise the name of the Lord Oh, praise His name forevermore, for endless days we will sing Your praise, O oh Lord, O oh Lord our God. Oh, praise the name of our Lord. With a melody, you surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies until all my fears are gone. Cause I'm no I am a 
pray for us and uh, we're going to call it a day. I'm so glad that you guys were able to worship with us. Um, thank you so much for being a part of it and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Um, I hope that you are finding places to worship throughout Holy Week and that you join us on uh, on Sunday for our Easter programming. Uh, we love you guys and I'm going to pray for us and we're going to go ahead and call it a day. Dear God, we thank you so much for the gift of salvation. Um, that you have given to us through the death and resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. God, for what that means, um, for the depth of joy that that should bring to us every day that we wake up, to know that we are covered by your grace and by your mercy and washed clean from every sin that we have. Uh, God, we love you, and we thank you so much um, for loving us the way that you do. We thank you that you call us as we are, as you call us as we are, and that you turn us into a new creation, Lord. 
that you bring us close to you so that we can know peace and that we can know what glory is and so that we can know what rest is and so that we can know what mercy and grace and forgiveness is. And so that we can be blessed with that and turn around and bless uh, our fellow people with that as well. Holy God. The weight of this gift is so amazing. And we just ask, Lord, that you, that you open our hearts and our eyes and our minds to receive what you have for us, Lord. To give us our portion. God, that you bless us so that we can go bless those around us. We pray for our country. We pray for our city, Lord. We pray for healing and protection. God, we pray for relief. Uh, and most importantly, we just pray that you be lifted up and glorified among all. God, we love you and we thank you. And it's in your holy name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, y'all. We love you.